In the end, when it's all said and done, everyone looks out for number one. People are in it for themselves. And that's the way it should be. The sooner you begin to realize that, the sooner you begin to uh, apply that truth into your every action in life, the sooner you will get to where you want to go in life, wherever that is. And if you are one of those people that chooses to be living under a false illusion of thinking that uh, people are uh, out there, uh, you know, uh, looking out for you, people are foregoing their own wants and needs, and are out there uh, caring for you, that's uh, with the exception of your uh, parents, then you are a fool. I am sorry, but I'm not into sugarcoating. If you like those, go watch those uh, Thanks for the Roses uh, channels. This is not one of those channels. This is hard talk. This is peeled. This is unvarnished. This is cold delivered messages that's going to aid you in get to getting to where you want to go in life fast. Everyone's in it for themselves. This especially, especially applies to romantic relationships. When you are getting together, if you're a man, you're getting together with a woman, know it, believe it, accept it, that she is in it for herself. 100%, not 99.5%, but 100%. The moment, the moment she even decides to go out with you for the first time to meet you, she's thinking, well, does he have the looks I want? Does he have the money I want? Does he have the wherewithal to take care of me? Uh, is he a, a, a solid man? Is he an alpha man? Is he able to, you know, give me what I want in life? It has nothing to do. The thought that um, what you need to be happy and what you require and what is best for you, that doesn't even cross her mind and she does not want it to cross her mind. She doesn't care. She is in it for number one. She's in it for herself. She's in it to fulfill her own needs and wants and desires. And that is true in the real world as well. People are out there taking care of themselves, looking out for number one, looking out for how to get what they want no matter how. And the ones who are better at it succeed and the ones who are not failed. Now, this in no way, shape or form means that you should not care uh, about others, you should not give to charity, you should do your part, uh, that uh, you know, you should not do your part to uh, help those who you can. Absolutely not, this is not about that. This is about understanding that it is in human's nature to be out there for number one, to protect number one, to get what number one needs in order to be happy and fulfilled. If you don't understand that, I'm sorry, but you're missing it out. You're missing uh, what the, uh, the life is all about. And as I've said it so many times before, unless you are successful, unless you are physically and emotionally and financially healthy, are you really able to help someone else? Are you? As a homeless person, is a homeless person on the street able to tell you, hey, yeah, you can sleep in the corner of my house for a couple of weeks until you get back on your feet? No. He doesn't have it to give it. You need to be taken care of, number one. You need to be making yourself successful, making yourself happy, making yourself fulfilled, no matter what it takes. First, you need to know what it is that you want, and then go after that. Focus 100% of your attention towards achieving that which makes you really fulfilled. Every time you're gonna do something, ask yourself, is this action taking me closer to getting the things I want in life or is it taking me further? Am I going to sit in front of the TV for uh, five hours and drink beer and, and chips and watch some game? Uh, the winning and losing of a team has zero impact on my life or are you going to use those times those same four or five hours to get yourself closer to where you want to go in life. Whatever action you need to take, whatever it is, whatever it is, learning a skill, uh, sending out resumes, whatever it is, learning a new language, whatever it is that gets you to where you want to go in life, gets you to have the things that matter to you. Just remember, wherever you go, whatever activity you engage in, whatever you're doing, remember, People are out there looking out for number one. People are motivated 
they take action, they say things, ultimately, ultimately to fulfill their own needs and wants. Don't be surprised. Some, some are just better at hiding it or cloaking it. Some are not as good. They're very overt about it. And they seem, oh, they're so selfish or whatever. No, everyone's the same way. Some are just better at hiding it. And you should be that way too. As I said, that does not mean that you shouldn't care and help others. But first, you need to help yourself. God helps those who help themselves. These old sayings linger throughout the centuries for a reason. Everyone's out there for number one. And that's the way it should be. Don't be ashamed about it. Don't think that you're being selfish for going after what you want. Hey, it's my life. You're in the wrong marriage. You're in the wrong relationship. And you suddenly realize all these times, all these years, you know, you've been sweating to make someone else happy while in the meantime, you've been earning their disrespect. Because they're thinking, look at this chap. Look at this idiot. He has such a low opinion of himself. He has so, uh, placed such low value on himself that he thinks his own wants and needs are absolutely insignificant. And for the privilege of me being with him, he has to spend his whole life from the time he wakes up until he sleeps into fulfilling me so that I hang around him. And you know, that woman, that woman that you're doing all that for, the moment she has an opportunity to have something better, you really think she cares about you and whether or not you're gonna be lonely? She's just gonna say, bye. Anything you have to say, say it to my lawyer. It happens all the time, all the time. That's the second time I've been talking and this beautiful cat showed up. Hey, cutie. I hope you got the message. I hope you got the message. A woman is only going to look down on you when she realizes, and they do realize very quickly, that you're spending your whole life fulfilling her needs and wants. And never talk about what you need and are ashamed to even utter the things that you really want to do. Oh, you want to go watch this movie? Okay. Oh, you want to go to your parents' house to, during the you know, holidays? Okay. Oh, you want to go to this vacation place? Okay. Oh, you want to go to this restaurant? Okay. What about what you want? What about what you want? Think about that. The more you show that you need to be happy and you need to place importance on the things that make you fulfilled, the more you're going to earn respect of the people that you're with, especially in a romantic relationship. Signing out from south of France. All the best.